So, um, Boris Gelfand uh, won today the first game in Grand Prix in this stage against uh, Alexander Rezantsev. Congratulations, Boris. I, I know that you are suffering during this tournament. It's not the, the normal situation for you. Uh, what can you say about this game? Mm, I think it's a pretty good game. You know, I uh, went for a very complicated line. Alexander kind of surprised me with uh, Catalan because he normally played Nimzo Indian in this tournament and in general. Uh, but, you know, I remember it was some old idea. You know, it's very um, ambitious because, uh, you know, I made some uh, commitment already in the early stage. But, okay, the, if he would uh, manage to take C-line and put Bishop on before, I'll be in trouble. Mm -hmm. But probably somewhere he played not that. And it feels like his preparation was a bit deeper than mine. Few, two more, one or two more moves he made uh, deeper. But then probably when the, he made maybe an accurate move 95, I believe. And then somehow, just in time, I managed to control C-line. And then that's a point of this position that, okay, it cannot be basically difficult to be equal. Either white gets advantage, either black gets advantage. So one who gets C-line mm -hmm. would get an advantage. And I got it. And then, okay, already it moved maybe 20 or maybe 17. My position is much better. So from this moment, you were enjoying playing this position, I guess. Yes, yes, yes. But also interesting position. I'm happy I played it, yeah, because in this tournament I played many interesting ideas in the opening, but somehow everything went wrong. Yeah, well, actually, I don't think I play as bad as the result suggests, but everything went wrong, so, okay, what to do? Uh, this, this, this is a problem sometimes that normally when you play such kind of event you just want it to be over and maybe you don't even play so principal like you did today. So how do you still try to find this kind of power, I don't know, so resources to continue fighting? Yeah, but maybe it's the only point to play, yeah, because otherwise if okay to play, let's say, safe and solid and make 50% or plus one or minus one, okay, you cannot, uh, this is not motivation which could keep you for long. But if you get interesting position, try to get in every game or as many games as possible, mm -hmm. it's, uh, it uh, inspires you. Yes, we, we are famous to be the one yeah. who really loves chess and who, who tries to play every game as the last one. And which kind of games can you say that they were interesting? I think the game with Hammer, which we didn't analyze, let's say we didn't make an interview, but I think it was quite nice. No, many games were interesting. All the games were interesting from opening point of view. I think all the games were interesting. But something and also, you know, un uh, untrivial pawn structures in many games, maybe, but okay. Uh, all of them were interesting, you know, I would analyze them deeply after the tournament to see what went wrong. It's really important to learn, yeah. Mm -hmm. What do you think about the tournament situation? Um, Aronian is leading now, Maxim is still trying to fighting. How do, you, how do you feel about it? You have so, so much experience playing in these kind of events when you need to qualify, when you have to still keep motivation. You know, I don't follow this thing, yeah? You know, you know, I might, you know, when you play so poorly, you know, you like, you don't want to follow guys who do well, yeah? I look at the games, but I, really, I know that Levon is leading the only thing I know. Mm -hmm. But I think many players are... And they share second place. Second, yeah, yeah. But okay, I think for qualification, you know, last few rounds would be very interesting. Yeah, yeah that's for sure. We are also expecting big fight. Thank you yes. so much, Boris. Thank Once you. again, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you.